Howdy ladies and gentlemen, Michael here again from Guitargate.com and I know you've seen a bunch of lessons about how to play that intro riff and about how to play this song, but do you know why it sounds cool? Do you know what it is about those notes and about how they're put together that gives it that sound of foreboding, that makes it, in my opinion, the greatest stadium intro first tune of all time? If you click the link in the description, you'll link to Live at Donington. And you'll see Angus Young starts out, stands on top of the stage, sea of people, looks like a million people, and he hits that lick. And they just go bananas, right? And every part of the tune is just layered to give that intense sound of like something serious is about to happen. What is it that gives it that vibe? Check it out. That intro lick. Now, you can do it alternate picking each note like Angus does. You can do a hybrid of hammer on and pull off, or you can do all hammer on and pull offs and not pick it all, right? Um, the point is that these notes go back and forth between major and minor and create that sound of B dominant, that sound that has to go somewhere. That's what gives it that sound of foreboding. Check it out. So it starts with these notes. <laughs> So that's B, D sharp, and F sharp. That's a B major triad. And then it moves everything up one fret except the open B string. That stays, that's your pedal tone, right? So it goes to B, E, and G. So it moves this minor third thing up a half step. But B stays the same. So it goes from B major, B, D sharp, F sharp, to E minor, e, B, E, G. So it gets this. Now what's cool about this is that this leading tone, this D-sharp, the third in B, wants to resolve to E, but in the key it's E major, not E minor. So this is a dominant sounding five chord resolving to a minor one chord. Really gives that sound, that evil foreboding sound. And to top it all off, when he goes up to the higher part, which descends, it sticks with E major. But since B is being played by the rhythm guitar and the bass, B is your tonality. If you play the E major scale with B in the bass, you get B mixolydian. It's the dominant sound. It is your five chord. It is the sound of a chord that has to go somewhere. So you're not just hearing this, what you're really hearing is E7. And you get that because you're playing E major over that B. So it just walks down, B, A, right, G sharp, F sharp, E, D sharp. That is the E major scale, but over the B, it's root, 
flat seven, right? Six, five, four, major third, right? So. Right? The plate over that B is the B's your pedal tone. That gives the sound of B7. And whenever you're just hanging on a five chord that isn't being resolved, it just really gives that sound like something big is happening. We have to go somewhere. We demand resolution. And when you just ride on that, at the beginning of a set is, you know, what makes ACDC, especially Angus Young, it makes them, and, and his brother Malcolm, it's things like that, that you open a song for three minutes, or however many minutes it is, just hanging, hanging on that B7 sound, that sound of that five chord where you just build, it gives that momentous feeling of foreboding, which is why ACDC, you know, is arguably the best stadium rock band of all time because all of their songs contain those little, tiny, intricate, simple things which are so incredibly effective, especially when you got Malcolm playing the rhythm, just doing power chords, not even playing thirds, none of it, and you got Angus playing all the stuff that gives it that color. That separation locked in with just firepower drums and locked on bass just gives it that sound. Click the link in here and tell me if that isn't like the best stadium opener of all time. Uh, for the rest of the tune, it's for the most part B, A, and E power chord. There's a little spot in there where there's a little voice leading here like and there's that where it adds that G power chord where you gotta get that voice leading right and make it nice and tight. But for the most part, that's it. This is the sound of B7, done stadium style. Good luck.